To develop a good pond management plan focused on raising trophy class bass, we have to first start with an assessment of the current population. This includes three key points of data, the fish's length, weight, and age. Hey guys, Garrett Lee here, fisheries biologist at Pond King. Today I want to talk to you about the different ways that you can determine the age of a fish. But first, let's go into why it's important to know the age of a fish. To develop a pond management plan, especially if your goal is raising trophy class bass, we first need to understand the pond's ecosystem. That includes the pond or lake's physical profile, its life stage, habitat availability, carrying capacity, and the fish population's composition. To quantify the fish population as accurately as possible, we typically will conduct an electrofishing survey. During a survey, we use a mild electric current to stun the fish, causing them to float to the surface so we can easily net them. They then are stored in a live well until we can measure and weigh them. For the targeted species, we also approximate the fish's age. The reason we include age is that it is possible for a fish to be well within a desired relative weight percentage, but be much older than it should be for that size. If we didn't include age in the assessment, we might mistakenly conclude that a population was healthy based on its respective relative weight, when in fact the fish might be underweight for its age. And as you can imagine, the pond management plan for a pond with fish in the 90th to 100 percentile would be very different from a population that is in the 60 to 80th percentile. Standard methods of aging include the examination of scales, otoliths, and pectoral spines. By use of annuli produced on these hard structures, we're able to estimate the age of an individual fish. While examining otoliths is the most accurate way to estimate age, removal of otoliths is lethal and requires the harvest of a fish. We only use this method in certain circumstances. Instead, our preferred method of aging is through the use of scales. Removal of scales does not harm the fish and allows us to return them to the ecosystem immediately. To age a fish using its scales, we'll remove a few scales from the fish we record during the electrofishing survey, labeling them with the respective weight and length data, and bring the scales back to the lab to examine them under a microscope. The features of a scale include the radii, which are the ridges extending from the focus to the edge of the scale, circuli, which are the individual rings, and the annuli, which are the bands formed by many circuli packed close together by a period of slow growth. Since Texas has very mild winters, it can be difficult to see these annuli as fish often exhibit growth throughout the winter. Our biologists have extensive experience with this method of aging and have become very accurate thanks to countless hours of experience. If you're watching this and live outside our service area, you can always download our do-it-yourself pond management app, where you can record the weight and lengths of your bass and submit it to us for a do-it-yourself plan. Even without the ages, we'll be able to provide you a management plan to help you reach your fishery goals. If you found this information helpful, be sure and use the button below to subscribe. And if there are any other topics you'd like to learn about, drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down at the pond.